Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textured Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet a twisted stitch. I've also seen this stitch called uh, simply a woven stitch and it's a stitch that creates a great texture. It certainly does look like it is woven uh, and it just worked uh, using double crochet stitches around the front and the back posts of the stitches down below. So it creates a fabric that is the same on both sides. It's a very dense fabric and it's also quite strong. So if you're looking for a more sturdy stitch for a particular pattern, this might be your go-to stitch. So why don't you grab a hook and some yarn and let's learn how to crochet the twisted stitch. So to work our twisted stitch today, we're going to start with a multiple of an odd number of stitches plus three for our foundation chain. So I'm going to start by making my slip knot. And today I'm going to chain 19 stitches plus three, so a total of 22 stitches for my foundation chain. eight, nine, ten. There's 19 plus three for my foundation chain. I'm then going to start by placing one double crochet in the fourth chain from my hook and then in each chain all the way across. So count in from my hook, one, two, three, four. Work my first double crochet stitch. And then I'm going to double crochet in each chain all the way across to the end. At the end of that first row, you're going to chain three and turn your work. This chain three at the beginning is always going to count as a double crochet stitch. Now I'm going to begin my front and back post double crochet stitches. So after my chain three, I'm going to skip this first stitch because this one uh, counts as a stitch. And then in the next double crochet stitch or around the next double crochet stitch, I'm going to work one front post double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over and to work the front post double crochet, I'm going to bring my hook in front I'm going to insert my hook from the front through to the back, around the post of that double crochet, and then back up through the front again. I'm then going to yarn over and draw a loop around the post of that stitch. I'll have three loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over, draw through two loops, yarn over, and draw through two more. That's my front post double crochet stitch. I'm then going to work a back post double crochet around the next stitch. So yarn over and I'm going to bring my hook in back of my work. I'm going to insert my hook from the back to the front, go around the post of the double crochet stitch below, come back up through the back. I'm going to draw yarn over and I'm going to draw up a loop. I'll have three loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two more. And that's your back post double crochet stitch. I'm then going to repeat that all the way across. So front post double crochet stitch around the next stitch. And back post double crochet around the next. Continue that all the way across to the end of your row. And then at the end of your row, you're going to work one double crochet stitch in the top of your turning chain. I'm now just working my final double crochet stitch in the top of my turning chain. And then at the end of your row two, you're going to chain three and turn your work. 
You're now going to continue working uh, your front post and back post stitches, but you're going to work them opposite the row that you did below. So for row three, after your chain three, you're going to skip that stitch and you're going to start by working a back post double crochet stitch around the next stitch, followed by a front post double crochet stitch around the next. And you're going to repeat that all the way across back post double crochet and front post. Finally, when you come to your chain three at the end of your row, you're turning chain three, you're simply going to double crochet in the top. Double crochet in the top of that final turning chain at the end of your row three, then chain three and turn your work. You can now see that woven texture coming through. So for the rest of either your pattern, for as long as you would like your swatch to be, you're going to repeat rows two and three, always working the opposite stitches uh, to the one below. So for row two, you started with your front post double crochet stitch followed by a back post double crochet stitch and did that across. And then your row three, you started with a back post double crochet stitch. And that's all there is to create this woven texture. Thank you so much for joining me on this stitch tutorial on how to crochet the twisted stitch. Once again, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This channel is updated weekly with free stitch tutorials such as the one that you saw here today. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.